Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me today for another Twilight Zone video in my Twilight Zone ranking series where I rank every episode of the original Twilight Zone from my least favorite to my favorite. Today I'm going to be talking about number 73, Mr. Denton on Doomsday, written by Rod Serling and directed by Alan Reisner. This is a season one episode and as always there will be spoilers. So, Mr. Denton on Doomsday is a western dramatic episode of the Twilight Zone and... I've always felt like this is another solid episode, well acted and directed, with some nice cinematography, as you would expect out of a Western episode. Dan Durier gives a very good performance as Denton, in my opinion, while Martin Landau gives uh, some good support as a villainous bully named Dan. So this one starts with Mr. Denton, our main character, and he's a town drunk, and he really wants to drink so badly that he starts singing a song and embarrassing himself. And I have to say, it's pretty awful, and I'm already feeling for this guy. There's also a woman named Liz in the town, who you can tell feels bad for him. But this whole thing amuses the town bully, who basically laughs at Denton. So Denton finds a gun somehow. It's the Twilight Zone, I'm not really sure how. And the bully challenges him to a duel. Denton tries to back out, but the gun goes off, and Denton wins, earning respect. So Denton tells Liz now that this is bad because now he will be challenged to duels and this is what kind of led him to drinking in the first place. And sure enough, very soon after that, Denton is challenged by a young man from out of town. At this point, Denton is getting more and more concerned. It seems like he feels like the gunfight he won before may have been a fluke. Seems like he's ready to give up, maybe even leave, when he meets a peddler. This mysterious peddler offers him a potion. He says it will make him draw faster than anyone else, but it only lasts 10 seconds. Denton is naturally skeptical of this, but eventually he seems to buy in and accepts the potion. I have to say, this scene was pretty mysterious and I thought it was done well. It kind of Keeps you going as to what's going to happen next, in my opinion. So the day of the duel comes, and Denton meets his challenger, this young man named Grant. And they both go to draw, and in the twist of the episode, they both have the same potion. So this means that they ultimately shoot each other in the hand, which means they can't shoot anymore. Denton tells Grant that he's lucky because this happened to him at a young age, and basically Denton is free of this burden of being challenged all the time as well. So I did think this was a very simple twist, but it's effective and I feel like it works well with the themes and message of the episode and uh, does come across as having a little bit of depth to it, which I thought was really good. The you know the whole thing is possibly slightly over dramatic at times you could say, but I think that the episode did make me become invested in the lead character of Denton and there's a sincerity about the episode that worked for me. I also like the message about Denton getting another chance through these uh, circumstances. So I do think Mr. Denton on Doomsday is a fairly straightforward episode, but I also think it's effective in what it tries to do, and that's why it comes in at number 73 for me. As always, feel free to leave me a comment on if you liked this episode, Mr. Denton on Doomsday or not. Thanks for your support, and thanks for watching.